Welcome back, everybody. There she is. Lori Laughlin is back with another in her series of garage sale mysteries. Uh, in this one, what happens? Oh, it, it's, first of all, it's <laughs> darling. The whole family what can happens? watch it. It's a mystery. There's love, love lost, love found, a wedding dress. Are you in danger at any point? Uh, yes. I, I'm always in a little bit yes. of danger. We have yeah. to keep it suspenseful. There's a little yeah. bit of something. Anyway, yes. Lori's character, Jen, tries to solve a 30-year-old mystery around a wedding dress. Okay. I saw a wedding picture. A bride and a groom, just married. The bride goes into the ladies' room to fix her makeup, and when she comes out, her husband is gone, never to be heard from again. And there's blood in a hidden pocket on her wedding dress. That's it? That's all you got? How have my hunches worked out in the past? Pretty good. Well, I got a hunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say no to you. Yeah, so well, he always tries to. Yeah. He tries to. Yeah. Peter Deloise, who, who directs all of the Garage Sale Mysteries, is so funny. He always says, no, no, you have to listen to her because it's her show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. So, um, but, yeah, but you know what? I'm so excited. This, uh, this episode, we have Cheryl Ladd <gasps> in know. this movie. And that was really a dream come true. I mean, I'm a longtime fan of Cheryl's. And she's just as lovely as lovely can be. And she was so awesome to work with. So over the years, you guys had never really worked together? No, I've never worked, I've never worked with her. And I'd always been a fan. Had and you met her said, before? I'd never met her before. Oh. And she's just... As beautiful as she is on the outside, she is on the inside. She's just a lovely lady. So you're, it was so exciting to have her as a guest star. You're such a vicious person. <laughs> mean. Yeah, you are mean. Uh, this has turned into a nice little uh, franchise. Got cottage yes, industry for you, right? Yes, it has. Yes, I, I love working uh, with Hallmark. Uh, the the uh, Garage Sale Mystery franchise is on the Hallmark Movies and Mystery oh, Channel. Then I do a series for Hallmark on the Hallmark Channel called When Calls the Heart. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I, like years ago when you got signed to a studio, I've been doing all this incredible work for Hallmark. I have a film coming out, a, a holiday film with Bailey Madison and Dermot Mulroney oh, coming on in November. Great. It's It's been so much fun. They're letting me produce I'm, and develop things for myself. It's been a, a wonderful experience. And it's fun because I sat in bed and watched this one with my mom and then my daughter last night. It's something like the whole thing. Well, that's you what know. I love about Hallmark and everything that they put on is you can watch it. It is definitely geared towards a female demographic, but you can watch sure. it with the whole family. Yeah. And if your child runs in the room, you don't have to worry about what they're going to see. You don't have to flip the channel. It, you know, it's all just family-friendly television. Now, you know, we have to ask you about Fuller House. Yes. I mean, everyone has been so excited, and I the know. chemistry between you and Stamos, it's still there. Please tell me. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> We're such longtime friends. We, we uh, shot the Fuller House reunion episode last week. We had the best time. In some ways, it was like We'd never left. It was it was bizarre, even though it had been, you know. <gasps> Uncle Jesse oh, and yes. Becky going to Starbucks we grabbed, we, together. We shot on Friday night, and then we met up on Saturday morning and had a little quick coffee and review of the whole week, and in it was the, fun. In, in reading uh, up on you when you come on the show, which is strange because. You've I've been, been interviewing her for. I've interviewed you for, for a long time. For 25 years. Mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. But I did read here that that chemistry you're talking about, you could never really get together because the timing was off. Our timing was always off, yeah. And, and I, I guess it just wasn't meant to be, but uh, I was married to my first husband when I was on the show, and then when I was getting divorced, he'd already met Rebecca, and he was getting married, and then he got married, and then I met my husband, and I got married, and he got divorced. And, and is it true? There's a Hallmark show <laughs> right here. There. There's a movie right yeah, there. Right. 30 years later. <laughs> But hold on, you can't really even pick um, put poster pictures of your husband on your Instagram. Because well, no, I can, but it's funny when I do. I when I, when I do post a picture of my husband, um, people will the comments always like, "You should have married Stamos." You yeah. should, you know. <laughs> and look, you know, it all worked out the way it was supposed to. But and you, you John is a great friend of mine. We have a great love for one another, and we you love understand working why together. the fans want that. You understand yeah, that. Because they, yeah. It's and it's very flattering. I mean yeah. I, I like that we have this place in television history and in fans' hearts and they love the couple together and that we represent some, you know, kind of Do you of ever get to play uh, <laughs> a, a really horrible uh, person? Yeah, have you ever done You know, I did a lifetime movie a few years back called The Mother's Rage and um, I did play a woman who was psychotic, and that that was fun. It was it was really fun. So, but you know, not not. I mean, too, you ever want to do one where you're, where you're dirty and your hair's everywhere? No, you know, and you don't look perfect, and your yeah. body's not like a work of art, <laughs> uh -huh. that type of thing. You guys are very nice. Yeah, spit just, coming out of the yeah, side. Yeah, I'm gonna just move really bad here and stay here forever. <laughs> yes. You guys are very flattering. Um, you know, I'm so happy where I am right now. Honestly, I really do love all the work I'm doing on Hallmark, and I'm just. 
there's contention, and you're also playing happy, different, and di different eras, different times. Yes, yeah, yeah. so Calls the Heart is, is a period yes. piece. It's set in the early 1900s, so it's so much fun. We shoot up in Vancouver in an old western town. The wardrobe is fabulous. And I love um, the, the daughters. You do picture them on your social media, and they're kind of following in your footsteps a little, right? My younger daughter, Olivia, has a YouTube channel called Olivia Jade. Uh, she's really building that now. And um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, she, she's very funny. She, she loves makeup and beauty. It's geared around makeup and beauty. But she does like Q&As with her sister. And she and I have done a video together. In fact, we're going to do another one Does she soon. ask you embarrassing questions because she knows you really well? She did. You, you know what she did? she did? We did a video together where she tested me on teenage, like current slang words. Uh, okay. And I don't know this, the current slang words. What, and what are some of the ones? Hilarious. Well, one was fleek. We know fleek. What's fleek, fleek? I know that's yeah, on we, point. We, that we learned the flickety but, fleek. Yes. Yeah, fleek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've, I've forgotten all the others. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it and you're a better person for it. <laughs> I think so. Garage Sale Mysteries, the wedding dress, Sunday night, nine o'clock on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries Channel. Oh, so good to see you. Oh, so good to see you. So nice. Thank you. Thank you.